Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Today we will discuss closer properties of context-free language. Okay, what is a context-free language? Simply, context-free language is the language that is generated from context-free grammar, and these context-free languages are accepted by accepted by pushdown automata. Context-free grammars are accessed by push down automata okay so what are some closer properties the first property is context free languages are closed under union the context free languages are closed under union okay we will explain we will we will discuss assume l1 and l2 are two languages assume if L1 and L2 are two context-free languages, then what is our required thing? You have to combine L1 and L2. That is, union of L1 and L2 is also context-free language. That is the meaning. Closed under union means if L1 and L2 are the context-free languages, then the union is also context-free language. Suppose, consider an example. Each one we will discuss with an example. L1 is the language, a simple language, A power M, B power M, C power M. Suppose simply for maintain equality, A power N, B power N, C power M. Okay. Suppose N comma M greater than or equal to zero. Assume this is one language. That is the language satisfies equal number of A's. Equal number of A's and B's. But there is no condition restriction to C. Suppose L2 is the language which contains A power N, B power M, C power N, N comma M greater than or equal to 0. Observe, from this language, we are forming equal number of A's and B's. From this language, we are forming equal number of B's and C's. Suppose we are constructing a language L3 is equal to L1 union L2. Then what is the language? The language is A power N, B power N, C power M union. A power N, B power M, C power M. For all N greater than or equal to 0 and M greater than or equal to 0. Okay. That means this is also context free grammar. Why? Just now we discussed what L1 L1 contains equal number of A's and B's. L2 contains equal number of B's and C's. So their union, what is the union? Their union says either of the two conditions is true. That means what is the union? Simple thing, it is like R operation. If this condition is satisfied or this condition is satisfied, if any of these conditions are true, then these context-free languages are closed under union. This is the first point. Now, what is the second property? Second property means concatenation. Similar to like this, if L1 and L2 are two languages, remember two languages means are two context-free languages, their concatenation means L1 dot L2. It is also a context-free language. For example, L1 is equal to some A power N, B power N, N greater than or equal to 0. L2 is equal to some C power M, D power M, M greater than or equal to 0. The concatenation L1 dot L2 is equal to simply merge those two. Here, what happens? N greater than or equal to 0, M greater than or equal to 0. It is also context free. How can you say that? Simply, here L1 contains equal number of A's and B's. L2 contains equal number of C's and D's. After the concatenation also, after the concatenation also, this is the language. This language contains equal number of A's and B's and equal number of C's and D's. You got the point? After concatenation also, it contains the same equal A's, equal B's, and equal C's, and equal D's. So, automatically, this is context-free grammar. And generally, if you know the concept of pushdown automata, it is very easy to prove. So, 
this language is accepted by push down automata okay we will explain the push down automata in the later sessions now that means it is context free languages are closed under concatenation also now third one is clean closer clean closer means if l1 is a context free language then its clean closer is represented as l1 star it is also context free language if l1 is a context free language then star is also context free language suppose consider the same one if l is equal to a power n b power n such that n greater than or equal to 0 now what is l1 the same language whole star it is also context for example if star is equal to 0 means it is repeated nothing so star is equal to 1 means this operation repeated one time two times three times either epsilon or any number of times but whatever the case we are considering it contains equal number of a's and equal number of b's that means after clean closer also it is closed under it is context free language next one intersection next property is intersection okay if L1 and L2 are two context free languages, remember their intersection is not a context free language. Their intersection is not a context free language. How can you check that? For example, consider the first example, union example A power n, B power n, C power m, n greater than or equal to 0, m greater than or equal to 0. L2 is equal to A power M, B power N, C power N, N greater than or equal to 0, M greater than or equal to 0. Here, what is the intersection? Here, intersection means here equal number of A's and equal number of B's. That is, A's are equal to B. L2 specifies the number of B's and C's are equal. Okay, what is the intersection? intersection specifies remember both the conditions must be satisfied both the conditions must be satisfied for example if n is equal to 1 m is equal to 2 what happens n is equal to 1 means for example this is the intersection these two are equal these two are equal these two are equal but but remember this is and this one is not equal this is this one is not equal you got the point that means both the conditions are satisfied means at a time at a time a values the number of a's are equal to b's at the same time the number of b's are equal to c that is not possible that is not possible that is the reason the given grammar is not a context free grammar under intersection under intersection similarly concatenation sorry not already concatenation is completed complement complement what is the complement operation complement means suppose l1 is a given context free language already we said that l1 is a given context free language then what are the overall languages? Overall languages are sigma star. Sigma star minus L1. That means simply these are the languages that are not context free languages. That are not context free languages. Okay. Finally, context free languages are closed under union. Union. Lean closer concatenation. Lean closer concatenation. Context free languages are not to closed, not to closed under intersection and complement. Okay. These are the closer properties of context free language. Thank you.